on today's Technobabble. Complex camera movements. This is Tech No Babble, your weekly source for church video and graphics news, perspectives, tips, and tricks. And now here's your host, Paul Clifford. Hi, and welcome again to Techno Babble. This is the show where every week I help you with church video and graphic design. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So, in the recent weeks, we've been talking all about different camera movements, uh, different ways to use video, different pieces of equipment. And so I thought I'd actually recorded this a while back and hadn't gotten a chance to record the voiceover that went with it. So let's um, just head over and I'll play some video that I've recorded. I do want to caution you that there are a couple of things you should know about this. First off, the subjects in this, uh, they were just there for music practice. So this isn't going to be the most interesting video ever. Secondly, the video, uh, we didn't have any of the normal house lights up, any of the normal theatrical lights in play. So the lighting while adequate was not the best so I, I did some adjustments on the cameras to compensate for that so sometimes they're going to be a little uh, soft because the iris was wide open and you get a much shallower depth of field when that happens and sometimes the colors won't look as good but I think you'll get a clue about what I mean. So you'll notice I'm dollying in and tilting up. Now I'm going to dolly out and tilt down. Notice how dynamic the dolly shot is. Dolly in, tilt up to keep Luke in the top third. Dolly out and tilt down to keep him in the top third. Now I'm pulling straight out. Well, you'll notice I tilt down to keep the subject's head in the top third. And now I'm pulling out straight. Um, and you'll notice that when I do that and I don't tilt, at the same time, she starts in one place uh, in the frame and then we get a lot more headroom. Push in and pan right, that's like an exclusion shot. See how it excludes people while pushing towards a particular subject. Again, I'm pulling out and panning right to include more and more of the set. In this case, I included the set feature Jesus here. So watch what happens when I truck to the right and I pan to the left. Get this very cool effect where the background seems to move around the subject. Okay, it's not perfect, but that was a Dizzo, as is that. That's a, that, actually that was a Dizzo, the other one was a Dazi. A dolly out, zoom in, and a dolly in, zoom out. And the two opposites, but they, they're really interesting shots, if you can do them right, but they take a lot of practice to get right. But you'll notice that his relationship to the background changes as I zoom and push the dolly in or pull it out as it were. Well I hope that's interesting to you. I recognize that maybe I could have chosen some more interesting subject matter, maybe uh, get it during our, one of our weekend services as well, but I think you get the feeling of what I'm trying to accomplish here, that 
there are more movements that you can make with the camera than just pan, tilt, push in, and pull out. You can combine some of these movements. Uh, if you have a camera that has a dolly, you can add that in as well and get some very interesting shots just to add visual interest to your iMag or to your live stream. If you like this content, you'd like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter. And there you can pick up some more church tech training resources, including uh, stuff on ProPresenter, stuff on social media, etc. Just by subscribing, you get that for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity.